performer. And let's just uh, take a listen to Sterry reading an excerpt from the book. I walk all the way up Hollywood Boulevard. Past Teristas snapping shots, Domo Rigato! Wanna be starlets sparkling by in miniskirts with headshots in their hand and stardust in their eyes. Rowdy cowboys drinking with drunken Indians, black businessmen bustling by brisk, zhoom, in crisp suits. Ladies who do not lunch with their nylons rolled up below their knees, pushing shopping carts full of everything they own. Mustangs rubbing up against muscular Mercedes and Hell's Angel hogs. It is a sick, twisted wonderland. And I am Alice. Natasha, clearly he's a man who's uh, out to entertain, which may explain actually some of your criticism yeah, of the book. I'm, I'm really confused about this because there are two men sitting across the table from me and you're there too, John. And I think what you're forgetting to say here is that this is about male prostitution. Like, you know, most of the books that have, that have been published in regard to prostitution is about female prostitution. And one of the best ones of those actually was The World of Susie Wong. I don't know if, if you've read it, um, which is about um, prostitution in the 50s in Hong Kong. And I think what the, I thought this was brilliantly written. I, I, I do think it should have a government health warning on it. I, it is really tough going. I found it very tough going. Mm. I found it very graphic. It is, For the kind of book I found it is, it it's not as hardcore as some of the books well, you could I, read. Well, I, 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 I found it tough going. It was very descriptive, very, very graphic. I mean, you know, you haven't said any of the stories that were there yet. One of the stories is this older woman mm. wants him to dress up in her dead son's clothes and make love to her. Um, that left me in a bad state. <laughs> I only finished the book last night. But just as well, I mean, hang on, he confronts a few issues here. And I think his honesty, now regardless of whether these real stories really happened, we do know he was a male prostitute. And by the way, I didn't know until halfway through that he was actually telling his own story, which made it even more unbelievable. But there's, he, 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 he's uncovering the darker side, the darker side of pornography and of sexual mm. fantasy in both men and women. And women are paying for the stuff. Mm. So it's not as if, you know, normally it's the reverse of what we normally get, I and think. And then his own inability then to form a proper relationship after Absolutely, that, and his problems with intimacy later on. And by the way, the only reason I kept on reading this book, because I couldn't wait to find out how the hell he got out of it. Well, he just What his downfall <laughs> was going to be. Well, there's a scene there with Walrus, the Walrus, where is his last client, where he goes absolutely apoplectic, throw things, throw things all over the place, and takes out his own, own I suppose, venom mm. on, on this poor client who was paying him good money, probably $500 for a service. It was a service industry.